Yo, what is going on, guys? This is the Fish119 here, bringing you guys another Battlefield 5 video. And today we are going to be talking about the Beginner's Guide to Battlefield 5. So, if you guys have considered buying Battlefield 5 and you are a new player, this is the guide for you. And I will be telling you everything you need to know through your Battlefield journey. So, today we're going to be discussing the good and bad about Battlefield. What is it that makes it a good game? Well, first off, as you probably already know, this game is a first-person shooter set in the World War II era. We have a lot of good things about this game and a handful of bad, just like with any other game. First, let's get on with, get on with the good stuff. Excuse me, I started there. I stutter all the time, but, you know, it happens. So, on with the good. Some of the good things is its uh, gunplay is very good, uh, pretty satisfying. Like the Grand here, it's a hard hitter, if you know how to use it the right way. Pretty easy weapon to use. Uh, this is like a good and bad thing I'm about to get into. Uh, the assignments, you can get gold on your guns, like with any other game, most likely. And some of those assignments can be pretty difficult. It's kind of the bad thing, so the missions are pretty hard. But another good thing about weapon skins is there's so many of them to choose from for each weapon. You can customize every single part of your weapon from your muzzle to your stock and put whatever kind of skin you want on there to personalize it and make it look good for your playstyle. You also have a tech tree that allows you to go with four specializations, excuse me there, I did not say that right, but you know, it happens. But you have that tech tree that lets you choose four of those specializations and you could choose whatever one you want that will suit your playstyle, whether that be heavy load for like the M1 Grand or a grenade launcher or maybe even the uh... what do you call it the bayonet you also have a bayonet on there if you want to use it so that is an option for that gun but getting on from that some of the other good things are uh... tank gameplay it feels pretty good but sometimes it can be hard as an infantry soldier going up against a tank so just be aware of that when you're First, booting up the game, you know, just unlocking a couple of your weapons. Just be aware that you don't want to hit, you know, go right towards the tank. That uh, It will take a couple of Piot shots or Panzerfaust shots to take them down. Or the M1A1 Bazooka if you unlock that. Now, the M1A1 Bazooka, and we're going to get into Tides of War now. That is a Tides of War unlock. I do not have it yet because I haven't been playing much Battlefield 5 recently. I've been playing more World of Warships and... COD Warzone. If you guys probably know what Warzone is by now. But Tides of War, that is a pretty interesting thing. Tides of War, let's get into what exactly Tides of War is, because you probably are asking yourself, what is Tides of War? Okay, so when you boot up your game, you will have a menu. It'll say play, it might say Tides of War, depending on if you buy it during a Tides of War time period. So what Tides of War is, it is a mission that goes around or about uh, for two or three months and what this will allow you to do it will allow you to unlock things about every week there are two parts of Tides of War there are your weekly challenges and then you have your 40 ranks that you can go through to unlock weapons now uh, only three or four weapons I think are in this Tides of War chapter 6 so uh, you know that's what you can expect but you also have the weekly challenges that will give you like a soldier skin or a weapon skin so be looking out for that and try to complete the missions if you would like what you see now another thing the store does that it did not do originally when the f game first came out you now have to buy uh, currency in this game if you want to buy like some elite soldier I, don't, I can't remember what the currency is called at the moment but yeah they have currency and if you want to have a you know elite skin set or an elite soldier, you have to buy them. Just like with any other game, you have elite stuff that is can be hefty sometimes, a hefty price range. Now, uh, getting on to some of the basics of Battlefield 5, uh, you're probably asking yourself, well, what guns are in the game? What can I expect from this World War II shooter? And you can expect four classes of weaponry. Your assault class, your medic, your support, and your sniper role, which can also be called Pathfinder. So, starting out with the assault role, you'll have some semi-auto guns like the M1 Grand, uh, the Carabin. Carabin's one of my favorite ones besides the M1 Grand. But yeah, those are some of the weapons you can use. Assault guns, uh, 
I didn't say right. Assault rifles, excuse me. You can choose from some of those. Uh, they're pretty good, depending on what you choose. The STG-44 is a pretty good option for uh, newer players once you have unlocked it. So be looking out for that when you have unlocked it to you know try it out. So is the River Rolls. River Rolls has real low recoil, so you might want to try that out too. And uh, getting on to the medic class, you can expect SMGs and a lot of them. <laughs> That's basically all that class is, is just a bunch of SMGs. You can also expect uh, carbines. There, I think there are two types of carbines in there. There's, there's the trombone chino and uh, something called an infield, I'm pretty sure. I cannot remember its exact name. Some infield something. If I'm wrong, just put something down in the comments if you are a player that has been around this game for a while. But, uh, yeah. Then getting onto the support class, which you can see me playing right now, I'm using a light machine gun. So, that is the... I cannot remember its name right now, because I don't usually use it very often. But, yeah, that is one of the support guns you can have. You also have MMGs like the... What do you call it? Something 42. I cannot remember the name. I am just being super slow right now. Excuse me. And another thing I also forgot to say about Medic. You have very quick uh, healing times. You can keep healing yourself if you are a Medic. And you can also revive others very quickly. And just to let you know, Medics can revive everyone. But if you are not a Medic, you cannot revive everyone. You can only re revive squad mates that are downed. Only squad mates. And that will be slow, not like the medic. Okay, so another thing about the support class, I know I just got off topic there talking about the medic class, but another th good thing with the support class is that you can uh, build fortifications pretty quickly. Like the medic class, you can build fortifications in almost any, you know, way. Anywhere you want. But some things are limited, like to building stationary guns. Only a support player can do that. But you can build fortifications like sandbags, and uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that's it. And you can do it pretty quick if you're a support player. But if you're not a support player, you, it's slower. Just like the medic revives, they're slower. And getting on to the sniper rule. Uh, you have bolt action rifles, and you have self-loading rifles. Pretty explanatory. <laughs> so if you guys like sniping, then I hope you guys have fun trying that out. So some more good stuff that you need to know about the game. There are tanks and planes. A variety of them too. So if you guys like tanks and planes, uh, yeah, you should try this game out. But uh, the Pacific, what am I trying to say? Not the Pacific. The uh, American faction and Japanese faction have six specialization choices, while the European theaters, like Germany, and uh, Britain currently, those are the only factions that are in the game. Uh, they have only four specializations for their tank. But the Pacific faction, er, not faction, but, but Pacific Theater has way more options than uh, European Theater currently for planes and tanks. So be looking out for that when you first boot up the game. You also have currency that you can uh, get through completing missions, not like a uh, currency you have to buy to get special things. But currency you earn from doing missions, and that, uh, it's called company coin. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. And you can unlock that through doing missions and just daily assignments and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, now let's get on to a little bit of the bad that this game carries around. It carries a bad reputation. This game has been through so many ups and downs that people do not know what to expect from EA and DICE. So many maps have been delayed. Like, I, only, I don't even know how many maps have been delayed anymore. I just don't pay any attention to it because it just frustrates me. So I try not to pay much attention to it. So that's one thing I need to expect. Time to kills do change a lot in this game for some reason. DICE and EA cannot make up their minds on what time to kill we need. And so that can frustrate a lot of players. Some players don't even notice it, but I definitely noticed it, you know. I was a pretty good player until the new time to kill. Not this one. This one is somewhat of a revert to what it used to be like, but before the gameplay footage that you're watching right now, 
my god, the time to kill was terrible. And talk about the bugs. I'm gonna see if I can put one of the bugs up on the screen for you right about now. So you can see how bad sometimes it can be. This bug that you'll be seeing is when I am downed by an enemy player, I am able to shoot at an enemy player with my bolt action rifle. Not the enemy player, but I'm able to shoot it. I was trying to, you know, hit the skip revive option, but instead I found out that I was able to shoot my rifle that I couldn't even see, so that's a future problem. So let me put that on the screen for you here. Alright, so now that you've seen the bugs that this game carries with it, now you kind of know what to expect. That's one of the bugs. There are so many bugs, and uh, the hit registration in this game, mm, it's weird. Like, some days, like, I'll have really good games. But today, when I record this footage, the day that I'm making the video, this is the day I record all of this footage. Today was a kind of a weird day for hit registration. Uh, I noticed that a lot of my shots were not counting. It's kind of frustrating. Don't really know why it happens. Some days are good, some days are bad for this game. I'm pretty sure it's like server connections aren't that very good because everyone's on the internet right now because of the coronavirus situation. But it's even like this when not that many people are online, I'm pretty sure. I have this problem all the time, even on some like good days, like I'll go into a server and it's just terrible. Like, I'll be having a good day, then as soon as I go into a different server, my gameplay tanks. I mean, you could see me get like a 50-60 kill game, and then barely struggle to get a single kill, and I have like 10 deaths. So, that is a huge, huge issue in this game. So just be aware of that, and uh, yeah, don't be so quick to judge yourself be thinking to yourself, Wow, I have some terrible aim. No, you might, you might have some bad aim. But most of the time, you can blame the server ping, or just other issues like your internet, like I do all the time, but... Because I know it's not all the time my aim. I know that's not what's happening most of the time, because I play this game long enough to know that I know how to aim, I know how to shoot the players, and if it's acting weird, I know it's not me doing it. Sometimes it's me, I can tell you when it's me. But, I think you'll start to catch on to when things are going wrong in this game if you know what I mean you'll start to catch on to it now I hope you guys uh, did enjoy this beginner's guide I'm gonna keep talking a little bit because we have a couple minutes of gameplay for you to watch uh, machine guns in this game are pretty overpowered uh, they're not they're kind of fun to use every once in a while but I don't recommend it because it'll just probably make you mad or make you joyful. I don't really know what your playstyle is in it, games, but if you like machine gunning people down to shreds, spanking them, you know, go for it. You can do that if you want. You can also do that with a Panzerbusch, because that's a bolt action rifle. You have to lay down for that. That's the meta in this game. Just lay down and no one's gonna see you and you'll be fine. So, <laughs> if you like laying down and hope no one will see you, then this is the game for you. Because the game also has poor visibility. Another one of the problems with the game. You can be laying, like you can be standing up, like, let's say right beside that tree. And I might not even be able to see you. Because you're inside the tree and I wouldn't be able to see you. Yeah, <laughs> fun. So, uh, whether or not you should get this game. I always say you should. But take what I just told you and con into consideration. Do you want to be having letdowns of when maps are going to be coming out? But yeah, we have plenty of maps. We have snow maps, we have desert maps, we have even a jungle map. Some maps in the Pacific. But, you know, there are delays in this game and now there are going to be even more delays because of COVID-19. As you guys probably already know, I am recording this video and uh, let me check real quick. Sometime in March, I think it's March... Uh, 20th. It's, that's a Friday. So, yeah, take that into consideration. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the beginner's guide. And one other thing, you need to flank a lot if you want to do well. Yeah, that's the thing. Stick with your squad mates and make sure not to get yourself killed all the time. Even though I'm guilty of getting myself killed all the time, too. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this beginner's guide to Battlefield 5. If you did, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you legends later. Thank you very much for watching this video. And peace out.